was earlier in the day. Uh, Earnhardt running down in the seventh position at this point in the race. Remember, Buddy Baker lost several laps very early on, and he was struggling to make those up, but has been unsuccessful in doing so. And you know, Bob, about a lap ago, I still see the dust coming from underneath Dale Earnhardt's car. He continues to move the groove that he himself, his personal racing line, is using up higher and higher. Go! Oh, travel on the... Oh! the trial of Buddy Baker coming together with, it appeared to be Donnie Allison. It was not Allison. It was another white car. Just as we were on him, Baker, fortunately for him, spinning near the pit area. Now he'll try to nurse that car back to his pit stall there along the pit row. Buddy Baker in the Uno car crashing here on the trioval. Can you believe the job of driving not only by Buddy Baker, who managed to do a complete spin and keep the car going, but by Dale Earnhardt and the others who were right there when Baker his damage front end of Buddy Baker did not make a stop in the pit area because we had no yellow and we had no reason for a yellow because uh, Baker's car came on into the pit area so Baker stays out there although there is damage to that car in the right right front well, Bob there was a third car involved in that it was a white car at first I thought it might have been Donnie Allison but uh it looks like perhaps Jimmy Means, I think, is the driver there right in front of Buddy. Jimmy moving up to the high lane, coming down to the trioval Means, and Buddy make contact ever so slightly and squeezes Buddy right behind his Dale Earnhardt. And Earnhardt does not have enough time to get on the brakes to prevent from touching the left rear panel of Buddy Baker's race car. Earnhardt pushing Buddy, who is slowing down suddenly in front of him, pushes Buddy around, nowhere for Dale to go, and Buddy standing on the brakes all the way around, fighting the steering wheel as the car comes around and starts to point in the right direction. Now you tromp on the accelerator, it gives you control of the machine again, and Bob, you're right, that was one uh, fine I, piece of work. I tell you, and also by Dale Earnhardt and by Neil Bonnet, who was right behind Earnhardt. It was a tremendous job of driving. Meanwhile, a, a part off of the car has been spotted by our cameraman lying in the grassy area of the racetrack. This has been a tremendous race, and uh, a lot of things have happened here in the first two-thirds of it. Well, we continued under green because of the expertise of these Grand National stock car drivers. Buddy and Earnhardt, of course, both hoped that uh, the yellow flag would come out. There are the pieces flying off of Earnhardt's car as he leaves the trioval area and heads for the 33-degree banking in turn number one. Real tough break for Earnhardt, who had run up front all day long, and we saw him running that spectacular line. There's Donnie Allison moving underneath Earnhardt. Donnie has been...